doing well yourself? Good. Good morning to everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the nine o'clock minimal equipment workout. Like I say every time, you know, if you come on with me, it's always more of a guideline to start and then I might end up just changing things <laughs> as I go. You can stick to the original plan or follow along with whatever kind of strikes me at the time. Um, the plan right now is to get you a quick warm up and then right here at the bottom, ignore the top, that's the class I just did, four sets of 21 dumbbell push press, 15 dumbbell front squats, and nine straight leg sit-ups. I did have a lot of breathing in there. So if you don't know what it is, it is on Box Drive if you want to pull it up and write it down. If not, I'll of course let you know what to do and when to do it. But that's just there if you are a visual person like me and you need to see it all written out. So let's go ahead, get you warmed up, get you ready, because we know we try to get in and out of these in about 30 minutes. If you're over on YouTube, let me know who's here. If you have the ability to chat, just drop a note, say hey. All right, guys, we're going to get down. Let me adjust my camera. I'm not used to being outside, but I was outside the garage earlier, and I'm just going to stay there. All right, we're going to get into a squat position. I'm at a slant, so if it looks awkward for me, it is. Come down to the bottom of your squat. Try to keep your heels in the ground, fully flat. Hands together, elbows on the inside of your knees. Push yourself out. I want you to think about there's a string attached to your butt. Pull that forward and your chest up nice and tall. Everything is as upright as you can get it right now. Take one hand and put it on the ground. Take the other, reach up, look up at your fingertips. Hold for just a second and then you're going to switch. Replace that hand, go to the other side and switch. Just a nice slow tempo. Pausing at each point. One more on each side. And down. Go ahead and take your hands and put them on your shoes now. Take your back, straighten up your legs. Legs are straight. So if you can't touch your toes, your legs straight, that's okay. Just keep your legs straight. Feel that stretch through your hamstrings. Slowly stand up. Now I want you to take your feet wide. We're gonna do some squats to the side. So you're gonna go down low as you can go. Come back up to center, go the other direction. We're going to do 10 total, five each side. I'm on number three. Sorry, six if you're coming that way. Eight, nine, and 10. Feet back together, right under your hips. You're going to lean forward and a good morning. When you do this good morning, your legs are softly bent. Feel the stretch through your hamstrings, squeeze your butt to stand. You're gonna do 10. Back flat. Nine and 10. You're gonna go back to the beginning, come down to a squat. Open up again. Do some shifting side to side. And then what you can do, hand down and reach again. If you want to, you can also try this with your hand behind your head. And reach you with a, a bent elbow. It's up to you. Seen it done both ways. I've done it both ways. One more each side. Good 
And hands on your feet. Straighten your legs. Slowly stand. Separate your feet again. And you're going to do Cossack squats or the side lunge, whatever you want to call it. If you want to, you can even hold the bottom if you want. You kind of get a good stretch if you feel like you need that. We've got one more. And then, then back to the good morning. Keep those shoulders back. I think it's easiest just to hold my hands right here at my stomach, but you can put them by your sides. You can put them behind your head. Whatever you feel like is comfortable for you. Two more. And done. Go ahead and get on your mat if you have one. And you're going to get into the down dog position. So feet are hip width apart. Try to get your heels down. Your nose goes back to your toes. And then without moving your hands and feet, come forward to that cover position. Arms are straight, relax your abs, relax your glutes. We're gonna do four more of those, but at a bit of a faster tempo. So just a pause, so back. Down dog, and forward, cobra. Just a slight pause in each one, and again, back, and forward, back, forward, one more, back, and forward. Lay down on your stomach from there. You're going to put one arm out. That arm that is out by your side, it's a straight arm. And you're going to roll your back towards your hand. So the arm behind you is straight. This arm in front can bend to kind of push a little bit and make that stretch a little deeper. You should not feel pain, just a stretch through your chest, through your shoulder. You can rotate your hips if you have the flexibility. Otherwise, just open up as much as you can. Go ahead and switch sides. Now you straighten out the other arm. Rotate. Again, that front arm can be big to give you a little more support and some more push. And come back to center. You're gonna come back up to down dog again. Give yourself just a little shift in those toes there. Up and down. Stretch out the calf, now heels down. Nose to your toes. And rock yourself forward. And back. Forward. Back, forward, back, forward, back, and last one down forward, and relax, lay yourself on your stomach one more time, do this stretch, roll yourself open, If you just did the, and if some of you do the eight and then the nine, if you just did the eight o'clock, you did those over the moon push-ups, you might already be feeling it in your chest. This is a good one that you can do on the floor. Just stretch that out. Switch sides. I know those push-ups always get me. They are tough. And 
come back to center, sit back. What you're going to do is stretch out your wrist. If you have another stretch that you like to do, feel free to do it. I'm just going to do the basic one where I point my fingers towards my knees and I'm going to sit back. Again, you shouldn't feel pain here. You're just stretching. Feel a stretch down here through your forearms and into your wrist. And then I'm going to take small circles. Do about five one direction. Then I'm going to reverse and go five the other way. All right. Anything else that you feel like you need to stretch, go ahead and do that. Um, we've got about a minute for that. I'm going to grab a sip of water. I'm going to start getting out some equipment to go over what you need. So you can start also doing the same thing and get out whatever equipment you have. So if you have a kettlebell, grab that one or two, or barbell or dumbbell, whatever it is you're going to want to use today. Whatever you have, I will make it work. I'll tell you how to use it if you're not sure. So you can drop me a, a question on the YouTube chat. I grab two dumbbells. That's what I plan on using today. YouTube land is quiet. I see you guys lurking there. If you have the chat, let me know you're here. All right, guys. So we have 21 dumbbell push press to start us off. It's a big chunk, so I'm not going to go too heavy on the dumbbells. I have a couple of options. You can go with a couple of options. If you have a barbell, keep it, keep it lightweight. If you only have one set of dumbbells but they're a bit heavier, then you can take one dumbbell or one kettlebell you can hold it here in the front rack position, just like this, and you'll dip and push press there if you only have a dumbbell, but you can't do two if it's too heavy for you. That would be fine. Same thing with the kettlebell. You would hold the horns of the kettlebell. It's a little bit awkward. Or you can do a single arm kettlebell push press. I'm just trying to give you options if it's too heavy for you to move in the single arm position. Otherwise, if you can, you're going to have two dumbbells, you're going to clean them up to your shoulders. If you have a super light pair and it's too easy for you, you can just do strict press, which would just be here, no legs. Otherwise, what I want you to do, squeeze your core, squeeze your butt, you're gonna dip, drive, straight overhead, finish in that fully locked out position. You can cycle through them fast, you can reset at each rep, however you want to cycle through them is fine. You can break those up if you need to. I'm gonna to try to do my first set all in a row, and then we'll see how I feel after that as to if I can keep going with that or if I'm gonna to need to break. If I am gonna break in the middle of 21, I'm gonna do 11 and then try to do 10. And then if I'm really struggling, I'm gonna do three sets of seven. Okay, that's the first movement. Second movement is a front squat. Gonna get those dumbbells up into the front rack position. You can hold it here on your shoulders. You can get them sitting up like this. However feels comfortable to you, I'm absolutely fine with today. But what I do not want to see is I do not want to see you change the range of motion just to have some weight on your back. So if you need to, do just regular air squats. What I want to see, all the way down, all the way up at the top. All right, so a couple options of how you can hold that. I'm fine as long as you're holding those dumbbells up around your shoulders. And then what we've got, I am gonna to have to put my back to you for this one, I am sorry, I don't like to do that, but you're gonna do a straight leg sit up. So wherever you're at, legs are straight, and I'll, I'll adjust the camera so you guys can see that a little bit better. <clears throat> there we go. You're gonna have your legs straight, Reach, touch the ground behind your head. Sit up, reach for those toes. 
What you want to think about is your shoulder breaking your hip plane. So you don't want to be back here reaching for your knees. Get your shoulders forward of your hips. You can treat this as you want to. You can try to fly through it like Superman and get it done super fast. Or you can feel free to grab a bit of a heavier weight and kind of methodically work your way through the workout. This is your workout. Make it what you need to. So if you're doing a lot of fast paced stuff lately, maybe go a bit heavier and slow the pace down. I'm just gonna kind of gonna go middle of the road pace, not gonna try to fly, not gonna try to go too, too slow and kind of see how it all shakes out, all right? If you want to, if you're tired of squatting, you can feel free to change those to lunges. If you did the eight o'clock and you don't wanna do squats anymore. Any questions, let me know guys real quick. I'm gonna take a sip of water and get my clock set. You say something, Keith? So this is for time? Yes, this is for time. So there's no built-in rest or anything. Um, just four sets straight on through. But if you want to, you can change it up. You can do whatever. Whatever sounds good to you. Well, my legs are still dead from Cass's uh, leg workout yesterday, so those are going to be some slow squats. Okay, like I said, you can also change it, like, if you want to do dumbbell deadlifts or something. Oh, my, my hamstrings are loose. Your hamstrings, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did the lunge crawl thing just and like, I did every part of my leg. Yeah, that one looked pretty tough. It was fun. Yeah. It looked like there was a good group on there. That was cool. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm not concerned about the clock, but I am just going to put it here just for us to use. Let's see. I'm going to put on, um, I'll put it up to 20 and let it run, but I really don't want it to take that long because I try to get you guys in and out by 930. Not necessarily about the clock today. Good quality movements. Okay, we're starting off with 21 push press, 10 second countdown. Two, one, and go. You guys know me, I'm always a little behind because the check clock is going. Core tight, all the way up. You're doing single arm. Make sure you switch halfway. Straight leg sit-ups. All the way forward. Like I said, guys, if you do the first round and it's like, oh, no, I need to go heavier or I need to go lighter, feel free to do that. Make this your workout.
Two rounds down for me. The shoulder burn. Come on, get to that last round. You got feet crushing it. Good, follow your reps the whole time. One last round, guys. Let's go. Last nine reps. Done for me. If you're not done, come on, finish up. No matter where you're at, you're done, guys. Good job, Keith. Oh, Kristen. Push to keep yourself moving. There we go. Short rest. You can give it about another 30 
seconds before I start stretching, but if you're not done, you just keep going. You finish up, and then you rewind the tape and do the stretches with where you're at. You just try to get people out in like 30 minutes in case they've got to get to work or something. You guys did amazing. That for me was all about the shoulder burn. I think the over the moon push ups from right before just did my shoulders in for those push press in the front squats. <clears throat> Good workout. Good stuff this morning. If you're watching this back later, make sure you go back and do the, uh, the no equipment workout. It was a good workout today. Good strength, good workout. If you missed it, you can go back and rewatch it or hop on tonight with Keith. He's doing it at five. I'm sure he will go much faster than I did. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to use my side of the garage here. Put your hand up against the wall. You can go flat armed if you want to or a door frame. I want you to open up your chest here. Just turn away from that shoulder, kind of like what we did on the floor, but now you're standing. Hand is at shoulder height on the wall. Hope you guys have been enjoying the workouts. I think they've been a really fun mix lately. Let's switch sides. Have a good balance of everything. So I've switched now to my other side. Some announcements if you didn't see it. Our Saturday schedule has changed. Make sure you take a look at that. And then um, we still have during the week, this, the eight and the nine and the five and the six and Tuesday, Thursdays, we have the seven o'clock social hour. I missed last night because I was having dinner with my family, a little Cinco de Mayo stuff, but I know they had a great time. Relax there. Just stand with your legs together, feet together, and reach down back flat, reach as low as you can go. Maybe that's your shin or your shoe. Maybe that's the ground. Reach as low as you can go. Think about lengthening your spine. So every vertebrae just kind of pulling and opening and stretching. The back of your hamstrings are stretching, your calves. You should feel comfortable here to just kind of hang. And slowly stand up. Last thing we're going to do, you're going to take your hands behind your back, interlock your fingers, press down, pull your shoulders back, open up. You can even look up at the sky, opening your chest, pushing your hands down, elongating your neck. and relax all right guys i hope you had fun this morning i certainly had a great time hanging out with all of you if i don't see you again i hope you have a fantastic day enjoy what you have ahead of you